Hi everybody. So today I want to show you how to use a combination of liquid layouts and alternative layouts to create the horizontal version of your magazine app. All right, let's get started. What we're looking at is the app that I started making. As an example, what I want to do is I want to show you how to change from your vertical to your horizontal layouts. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using combination of something called liquid layout which we can see over here and also in pages here we're going to take this and turn it into an alternate layout the combination of those two things will help us get to where we need to be to to create the second layout in our single app so you'll have some pages that will show as vertical layouts and some pages that will show as horizontal layouts what I want to do first is I want to go to the page tool, which is right here, or I could hit Shift P to get there, and just click on this page here. So now that I've gone to the page tool and I selected it, if I go to liquid layout, I have some options here. By default, it says control by parent. I can let it scale itself. I can recenter it. I can do object based or guide based. Guide based means I'm going to slide some guides onto the layout and lock things to certain guides. What I want to do is I want to click on object based here and then I can come in and I can click on any of these objects that are on my page. For example, if I click the kinetic art, notice that these are brown, these four dots here. That means the horizontal and vertical dimensions of this particular block here are locked. And then also I can lock to the edges of the pages if I wanted to. So if I wanted to, I can lock this to the edge so that it's close to the edge of my new layout. And let's say I want to unlock the dimensions and let it scale. I don't think I want to lock it to anything else at this point. I may have to do some adjustments afterwards. So I would go through all of my different objects and decide where I want things to go, what I want to lock, what I want to move, this button is an object. Let's lock that one to the edge and toward the bottom as well. And I want to keep the size on that the same, so I'm going to leave that one locked internally. So let's see what happens now. So now that I've, I'm done with the liquid layout, I can close that up and I'm going to come to Pages. And then you can see this is turned blue. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to scroll down to where it says create alternate layout. Another option would be to click in here where I'll get create alternate layout either way. So when I click on that, it's going to ask me, well, what kind of an alternate layout do I want? And it's going to offer the landscape version. So I'm going to click OK because that's what I want. I want a landscape version of the same size page and I want to move some things. Also notice that sometimes like this block did not change the fonts, this one did. Notice that this is Bauhaus. Um, what I had here, it's Arial Black 60 and Arial Regular for the description text, and that one is 36. So I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna go to Arial Black. It's at 60 already. This part actually I want to be Arial Regular. So I'm gonna go A-R-I-A-L Regular and change that Notice how these kept their relationship and the space that they're in because I locked it to that corner. So that looks pretty good. This I have to change. I'm going to again Command A to select all the text there. And this one actually I think is Arial Bold Italic and that was 60. So I'm just going to click off of that. And now obviously some things are not exactly right so I want to adjust those. First of all I want these two to line up so I'm going to click on it shift and drag it over and align them. It's also running off the page so I can click on that again and then shift click on the other one and then I'm going to move it down a little bit so that it's on the page and I can adjust that over if I want to. Now with the picture it's running off the page which is fine. I don't want it centered like that because I have a lot of empty space here. I'm going to move it over for this layout. And if I hold shift when I'm dragging, it's going to let me drag completely horizontally. Let's bring it down some more as well. Still leave a little bit of a crossover there. These look okay together. I'm going to move these down a little bit. So where it says movement here, uh, let's move that down. So I'm just going to use my down arrow to move it down a little bit off the letters of the other one because I'm getting a little crossover and the rest of this is kind of looking okay. This I want to move over. So again, if I hold shift and just click and drag and I can arrange it over. Let's try it over here, see how that looks. I'm going to go up a little bit and over some more. 
So I can play with this and get it exactly how I want it. That looks pretty good for now. So you can see this is alternate horizontal layout for my page. So I have the vertical layout here and I have the horizontal layout here. Here I put it in overprint preview mode and also I clicked on hide the guides. This is what the horizontal cover will look like. And if you're looking, it's actually going to align them so that you have the vertical layouts coming first and then the horizontal layouts will start. And obviously these pages, I did nothing with the liquid layout to make anything work, so I'm gonna to have to readjust all of that. But that's basically what we're doing when we're, when we're making the horizontal version. So if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you create.